So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can create complex shaped walls. Uh, to do this, we're going to be using the massing and site uh, tab, and then we need to turn on our show mass form and floors. And then just to the right of that, we've got this in place mass button. We click on that. doesn't matter what we call it, just leave it as mass one, and we can now start drawing. So I'm going to be using the 3D spline tool, which is the spline through points. And uh, just make sure that we've got this set, which is drawn work plane, and I'm, the placement plan I'm going to draw on is level zero. Just make, those are the two things we need to make sure that we've got in place. Uh, so I'm just going to start on the left here and just start drawing out a curved wall. This is the bottom of the wall that I'm drawing at the moment. And then you can see we've got this shape here. Once I've done that, I need to select everything. So if I just click on the, the line, only the line turns blue. But I need to select the blue line and these points. So the easiest way to do that is just create a box over the top of it. So everything is selected. Once I've done that, I now need to copy. So I'm going to use the copy uh, button just here in, in this ribbon. Copy on that. And then when I paste, just a little arrow below the word paste, and then aligned to selected levels. Click on that. Choose level one. Click OK. And when I open my 3D, we can now see I've got those two lines directly above each other. Uh, once I've done that, just click on this top one. Hold down the Control key and click on the bottom one so both of them are selected and I can then create form, and it's now created this form. Uh, what I now need to do is um, adjust this top um, line up here. So as you can see, when I'm hovering, you can see I've got different uh, bits turning blue. So if I just hover over this top line, only the top line turns blue. What I need, I need the whole thing turned blue. So I'm just going to move my mouse around until the whole thing's blue. I can then select it by left-clicking on it. Once I've done that, I've got this X-ray button up the top here. So I'm going to click on X-ray. And we can now see these spline points again. And what I can do now is I can click on uh, this spline point and I can actually drag it down. This one here, I could now drag up, for instance, and so on and so forth. And we can create some quite weird and wacky shapes. Um, I'm going to leave those. I'm going to drag this one here up. Oops. And that one there down a little bit, just to give it that curve. Uh, once I've done this, I can then finish the mass. And um, we can now see we've got this uh, mass shape. What I now need to do is turn it into a wall. Uh, in order to do that, I'll go into Architecture tab, click on my wall, doesn't matter which one you choose. Um, when you go wall, don't just click on this one here. We actually want to select the wall by face. So we're going to draw this wall by selecting it by face. So just click down onto there. And I can now choose this mass. Um, when you look into the wall sheet, you can see that the mass is still sitting in front of it. It's what's giving it that shape. So the easiest thing to do is just turn that off. So go back into Massing and Site. Where it says Show Mass, Form and Floors, just click on that again, and it makes it go away. If you want to see it again, you can just turn it back on and off. So you can toggle it on and off. And now we've got our uh, rather mad wall, um, which is looking quite nice. Uh, and that's how you change the shapes of walls and draw walls um, in 3D.